The design of the Botno light rail line will be nearly complete by the end of the year. Meanwhile, supporters are still working on state and federal funding that's needed. In Brooklyn Park tonight, it is the last of five public meetings to review plans that are 60% finished. There will also be an unveiling of how one neighborhood will be transformed. If light rail gets the funding to get moving, Brooklyn Park will one day have five light rail stations, the most of any city along the proposed 13-mile route from Minneapolis. For residents, it's all in the details of what will be built in their neighborhood. I hope that they take away a sense of excitement about the fact that the train is becoming more real. Um, and get excited about the designs and the potential. Brooklyn Park residents are finally able to see what planners call the streetscape design along West Broadway, which will get a total makeover. We have an opportunity to put in more trees, enhanced landscaping, uh, better pedestrian lighting, um, street furniture, receptacles for recycling and trash um, to really create a cohesive um, design element along the corridor. While local planning is moving ahead, state and federal funding is still unresolved. I'm concerned. I, I'm, I'm very concerned. Hennepin County Commissioner Mike Opad is a strong supporter of light rail and says the project is struggling to get the last 10 percent of county funding. The transportation bill approved by the House earlier this month could also limit assistance from the state. The state is not going to fund this project. The, the, the state is going to empower us to fund it ourselves. And that's a steady diet of what you get at the local level. OPAT says that could mean raising county sales or property taxes. Dollars from the federal government would make up about one half of the $1.5 billion Botno project. Officials are expected to apply by early next year for that grant. Despite federal cuts in this year's budget, OPAT says it's doable. The products will go forward. They'll have to, Congress is going to have to do it. Our representatives are going to have to put a shoulder um, to the wheel here and move it. I mean, there, there may be some changes, but I think we're going to be all right on the federal level. One other sticking point that still needs to be worked out is an agreement with freight rail lines to build light rail tracks on their property.